I'm Jim Benson, and you're listening to TV Time Machine. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our show archives at tvtimemachine.com. It's the final day of the toughest alligator season in years. But swampers are fighting to the finish, resorting to new tactics to fill every last tag. Because today, there is no tomorrow. Welcome to the swamp. Today on the TV Time Machine, we head down to the bayou to visit with swamp people. In this edition of our program, we are pleased to welcome Troy Landry of the hit reality series, Swamp People. For five seasons, Mr. Landry's remarkable adventures trapping and hunting alligators in the southern Louisiana swamps has captivated television viewers fascinated by his courage and down-to-earth character. Over the next segment, Todd Landry will help us explore virtually every aspect of this adventurous series whose fifth season premieres Monday, February 3rd at 9 p.m. on History Channel. Again, for those of you intrepid enough to bait your treble hook, feel free to chew them as we tag out of the past in order to be swamped by the present. Troy, thank you for coming on board the TV Time Machine. All right, Jim, thank you for having me on board. Now, your hit series, Swamp People, returns for a fifth season Monday, February 3rd at 9 p.m. on History Channel. Now, Troy, tell us about Swamp People and what new things are happening this season. Well, the Swamp People this year in season five, uh, we're coming out the gate very strong. The boys and I caught more in the first day this year than we caught in the whole first week last year. Uh, We didn't have no storms. That was a big help to us. And talking to some of the other cast members, I think they did just about the same. Some of them telling me that they had a real good year and, uh, you know, they caught some nice alligators. I know the boys and I, we got some real good footage, a lot of exciting footage. Uh, uh, They're bringing a couple of new cast members on uh, this year. They got a couple of new people going to be on the show. So I think we got, uh, going into season five, I think we got an exciting season ahead of us. So it sounds like a lot different than last season. How tough was last season? Last year was a real tough season. Uh, You know, sometimes we start fishing and a week or two into the season, we'll get a storm, a hurricane, and it'll cause a bad fish kill. But at least we had a good week or two before to fish. This year, we got hit with a bad hurricane three days before the season. Wow. And from the Coming out the gate, we had a bad fish kill. that millions of dead fish out there floating around. And uh, we normally catch about 200 gators the first week. Last year, we struggled the first week. We barely made 40. Wow. So, you know, that tells you how hard of a season it was last year for us. But we did tag out. It took us the whole month. But, <laughs> but we did tag out the boys and I. And... Uh, this year, compared to 40 the first week last year, this year, the first day, we caught 76, Jacob and I. Wow. Uh, I had 41, and Jacob had 35, if I'm not mistaken, the first day. That's great. So, you know, that tells you the, the difference from last year to this year. Last year was a terrible year. Now, Troy, are alligators smart? Do they know the game that's being played? Can they sometimes outsmart you? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Them alligators are way smarter than people think. Uh, They look like a dumb old animal, sluggish old animal just laying along the bank. But when you're trying to catch them, especially them big ones, some of them alligators are older than I am. Some of them (laughs) things out there we're trying to catch are 100 years old. Wow, I didn't know that. And uh, they've been around for a long time, and it's not by accident that they've been around for that long. And some of them are real, real smart. Some of them we can't catch. Uh, Through the years, there's been at least a dozen alligators that we couldn't catch. We had to hunt them down and wind up having to shoot them. Hmm. And I don't like to do that. I like to catch them because it's nothing like a fight on the end of that line when you got a big alligator. Uh, But some of them, you know, you can't catch them. They won't take the bait. They're way too smart. So we got to wind up after a few years when we decide, look, we're never going to catch them. We, before a poacher come in here and shoot them and steal them from us, we need to take them. And we'll go out and hunt them for a day or two till we can catch up with them and kill them. 
but uh, some of them will just never take that bait. They, they're way too smart. So alligators are pretty sharp, but after 30 years of doing this, how sharp are your senses when it comes to hunting for alligators? <laughs> well, uh, usually, usually we like to play fair. We we'll try to catch them on a the line with bait. Like I said earlier, because to me that's nothing like catching a big one on a line. And uh, after four or five years of trying to catch a big one, if we see we can't, I'll, we'll pull some tricks out and we'll sit on them and uh, go look for them at night and find ex- pinpoint exactly where he's hiding at. And then we'll come in in the next day or two and usually we'll hunt them down and get them. Now, Troy, how much luck is involved in alligator hunting, or do you make your own luck? You know, you can't, you can't have enough luck on your side. There's always, you're always way better off when you're lucky. But you got to, I believe in making your own luck. The harder you work, the luckier you're going to be. It, it don't matter if you're a, a radio guy or an alligator hunter or a car salesman. The guy that works the hardest and puts in the most hours and is the smartest about his job is going to be the most successful and the most, you could say, the most luckiest. Right. But a lot of times that luck don't happen by accident. So has alligator hunting changed much over the years? Alligator hunting through the years hasn't changed. Not enough to talk about. Uh, you know, the prices, the market changes a lot. It fluctuates. But the way we fish them now uh, is the same way we, my grandpa and all used to fish them. Uh, the only thing they used to do different, uh, they would pull them out the den. They had a long pole with a hook, and when you find a den where they spend their winters, mm-hmm. we would feel around, and when you feel one, you pull them out. But that's illegal now. Uh, they don't let us do that anymore, so we haven't fished, did that in years and years, but other than that, fishing with hooks and lines is the same way it's been done forever. So is there an ideal-sized alligator you prefer to catch? I love to catch about a 9- or 10-foot alligator. Uh, they're not the big, big, heavy ones. They're big enough where you get top dollar for them. When you start getting them 12-footers and them 13-footers in the boat, man, you... You can't tell on TV, but that is a lot of hard work. Right. Way more than you can tell on TV, believe me. So when it comes to the alligator meat itself, what's the best way to prepare alligator meat? Well, on an alligator, you got uh, red meat and white meat. And you don't cook them the same. Uh, Some people cook them the same, but I don't. It's not as good. The red meat is... You can make a roast with the legs, or you can make a stew or a sauce piquant with them, a gravy. The the red meat is a little tougher, and you have to cook it a little longer. And uh, the white meat, you can do whatever you want with the white meat. You can saute it, you can grill it, you can deep fry it. Uh, I guess deep frying it is the most popular way people like to eat it, but you can do anything with the white meat. Hey, Troy, where can people find out more about yourself and Swamp People on the Internet, online? Yeah, if you go to History Channel or the website and look up Swamp People or uh, Troy Landry, you can look up Troy Landry or Shoot'em.com. My boys got their own little website, Shoot'em.com. And we want to encourage everybody to watch the show. Monday night is a premiere, the brand new season five starts. That's right. Well, tag them out, Troy Landry of Swamp People. Whose fifth season premieres Monday, February 3rd at 9 p.m. on History Channel. Troy, it's been a tremendous pleasure having you aboard the TV Time Machine. Feel free to join us again in the future or in the past. All right, Jim. Thank you all for having me on.